Hey gang, welcome to OTR. I'm Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society. And as you can see, I've returned to Burger King to try out their latest burger. Will it be as good as Applebee's burger that I tried last week? I have my doubts, but we're going to find out next on OTR. Back with you, Snackers, on a Tuesday. It is November the 11th. That's Veterans Day 2014. Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans. Uh... And everyone who knows a veteran. Anyway, uh, here at Burger King in the Kingstown Shopping Center. Um, next to the brand new Lita Pizza. And also the Taco Bell KFC that you've seen me at a couple of times, I'm sure. Uh, and I've been to this Burger King multiple, multiple times. Uh, nothing special about that. Anyway, I am here in Kingstown across from the Walmart. Across from the Kohl's. To take a look at a brand new item from Burger King, which has been freshly prepared for you since 1954. That's 60 years if you can't do math good. I know I can't. I'm here to take a look at some other math. The Four Cheese Whopper. America's favorite burger. Um, well, the Whopper supposedly is. It's not my favorite burger, at least. But it is fire grilled. They used to call it flame grilled. I don't know why I've changed the verbiage to fire grilled. But anyway... Um, and this is a special version of said Whopper. The Whopper is, of course, their quarter-pound, quote-unquote, premium burger that I think just kind of usually lacks a little bit of imagination. All right, take a look at that bad boy. This was $6.99 for the combo, which included a medium onion ring, which I've got over there because I cannot stand their fries. Do not like them at all. I actually liked the saddest fries better than the regular fries. And they got rid of them. And also includes uh, that drink over yonder in which I got a uh, Dr. Pepper. Uh, I like Dr. Pepper when I come to Burger King for some reason. All right, so this four cheese Whopper uh, normally comes with all the you know basic accoutrement that you find on a Whopper: your lettuce, tomato, and onion. I don't like the produce at Burger King one damn bit, so I told them nix that stuff. I know I normally don't nix things on these burgers i try to try them as they are but everybody knows what a whopper tastes like the star of the four cheese whopper is the four cheeses which is looks like a slice of american cheese on there and a three cheese blend of shredded cheese and also some kind of cheese sauce so all kind of freaking cheese on here extremely cheesy looking uh you will note that the shredded cheese has not completely melted and i don't know if that's a good sign or not and it's all on top of the Whopper's flame or fire grilled patty, uh, which is resembling of odd gray meat, as usual, on top of a somewhat soggy bun. All right, guys, not too excited about this, but we'll see what happens when I come back and taste it and tell you more about it and give it a rating. All right, guys, I am back. Um... That looks like a Whopper with a bunch of cheese on it. Doesn't look like it was very professionally done either. Let's take a look at this bad boy on the side. That is one flat looking burger and not the too imaginative looking. Um, I just don't really get uh, siced for the Whopper, uh, I, I guess you would say, if you're from the D.C. area. Um, it does have that interesting flame broiled flavor, but I don't like the thinness of the patty compared to, say, a quarter pounder. I know it is rounder and bigger around in circumference and diameter than a quarter pounder from, like, McDonald's, let's say. But I think it loses a little bit of its uh, fun uh, aspect in eating it uh, by being so flat. And especially when you don't have the rest of the ingredients on it, it really doesn't look like much of a burger going on there. But anyway, smells good. The cheese looks interesting. Let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? That's extremely cheesy. Let me hit it one more time. Okay, so that's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, let me take a little slug of my 
Dr. Pepper. Um, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, the blend of cheeses is really good. Uh, you've got the creamy cheese sauce, you've got the shredded cheese, and you've got the uh, cheese slice, and they all kind of come together to form a nice uh, lubricating barrier between the bun and the burger, and the burger still has the flame broiled taste to it, which is good. Probably the highlight of any Whopper. Um, but it is muted a little bit by all that cheese. Um, it's not bad. I think the selling price on the burger by itself is right around five bucks, which is a little high. Uh, but when you can get, you know, uh, some onion rings and some, I don't know why they said I got sweet tea, but anyway, a drink. Uh, in there for a couple bucks more. It's not a bad deal. Certainly better deal than what you get at Wendy's these days. Um, hmm. Looks like I can go to mybkexperience.com and get a free Whopper. That's pretty cool. Alright, so anyway, that being said, all in all, I would say I'd give this burger a... Three quarters thumbs up. It's alright. You know, I'd probably buy it again if it were on the two for five menu, uh, but it's not. Uh, I almost picked up that Italian uh, chicken sandwich uh, that they've had for years that they bring back about once a year or once every couple of years. I almost picked that up for review too, but I figured I don't need two sandwiches today, uh, especially two fast food sandwiches, and I don't need all that calories and all, all those calories and all that fat and all that stuff. One's enough. Believe me, one's enough. All right, so thanks for watching. Three quarters thumbs up there. I've had their onion rings before, so nothing uh, to review or write home about. In fact, I'll probably end up throwing one or two of these and some mustard on this burger and customize it a little bit for myself while I eat it in private. Anyhow, so uh, thanks for watching. Check out the SAS uh, on Facebook by clicking on the link down below. Uh, you can meet and greet up to 200 or rather 300 of the coolest people in the whole world. I think we're up to about 310 people now. Uh, it's been a slow climb since after 300, but we're adding people you know, every couple of days, so that's cool. Um, also, uh, follow me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS, hashtag Snack Society, all day, every day, like the heel Will would say. And uh, you can also uh, follow all of our uh, antics on the Instagram, Straight Flexin, uh, also Brandon Reich SAS for that. Subscribe, share, like, comment down below if you want to see me review something in particular. I did hear you. Um, my bud, I forget your name, uh, Mendoza, uh, for uh, talking about the mozzarella sticks. They didn't have them here, and I haven't seen them in any of our uh, McDonald's in this area. But if I do see them, I will definitely pick them up and give them a shot for you. And uh, Roland, that's your name, Roland M Mendoza. I am on the lookout for those. Don't don't forget. And uh, thanks to everybody. Thanks to uh, Big Dave, the Lewiston Maniac, for sending us uh, whoopie pies from Maine, uh, from uh, Labadee's or Labadee's Bakery. We uh, had some trouble pronouncing that when we uh, produced the video this past weekend. You'll see it this weekend on Sunday on a special snack briefs as we try three different types of whoopie pies from Maine. We got four. Another one of those is going to be... Uh, in our Turkey Day special coming up uh, in a couple of weeks. So thanks for watching, like I said. So in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time, Snacker Stars. Bye-bye.